Firescape Engineers Inspector Summary Video. We're here on Firescape number 4 of 11. This Firescape has life safety issues. One of them being that this can this staircase will not this ladder will not go down even though I'm stepping on it. She will not go down. She's frozen here. She's ready to drop this weight. She's locked in here because of all the extra paint. The welds and the bars here are ready to are rotten, so this is ready to drop this cantilever. But the, the chains and the pulleys up there are not letting this thing go down about 20 feet, 25 feet to the ground. All right, with that, uh, this Firescape, which is number four of 11, which is Firescape Engineers, we're here in Jersey City. And what we have here is a Firescape that must be, structurally sound must be kept painted, it must be, uh, must be uh, maintained. Well, it has been kept painted, somebody has thrown paint on this. But right now, this Firescape is not structurally sound and she has life safety issues throughout including the cement into the building. So, the code requires that you load test this Firescape. This, she does not pass the exam. She has too much rust in all of its connections. Over 75% of this structure has uh, connection issues, uh, structural issues, original hardware, no evidence of any maintenance in its lifetime. It has been painted in the past five years, so that's here, but cement, fasteners, rust, corrosion, and again, the biggest issue right here is this life safety issue, so I'm gonna continue. Uh, talking about that this is a candidate for a full refurb in lieu of a load test. There's uh, oh, only about 25 or less percent of this Firescape that still has an original hardware that's in good order, but it's usually surrounded by something else that's in, that has rust and corrosion and it's not properly connected to the building or such. So, ladder doesn't work, weight balance, chain needs a new chain, new cable, new pulleys, new weight box most likely, because this is full of rust and everything is already corroded. Uh, going up, we have severe problems to the wall. All this you're going to see why they had to replace this. This is what's crushing these windows and stopping them from working because all the sills, which is recently replaced here, there's all the water damage is coming from the fire escape. I'll show you in a second. So, rust and all the treads. So, 100% of these treads needs, needs to be cleaned out to basically deal with the side bolt, but then you got top rust on every single one that needs to be cleansed. No welding, the Firescape has lead on it, so no welding has a means of repair. Rebolting is the only option. Now, as you can see, every single one of these supports is not properly pocketed into the building. They've all spalled all the cement away. When rust jacking occurs, it breaks all your sills. As soon as the sill is pushed forward, these windows do not open, and that becomes a, a violation issue, and the window issue, you have to replace the windows. These railings are not tied back in. All the cement is gone. Here's a great example of what occurs. See that water gets in up there, creates, creates those cracks which somebody tried to seal. That crack feeds water to the sill. The sill grows with rust like you're showing here. That rust expands, freezes your window, and snaps your window crack in it. Usually, and this is pieces of, of brick that has already spalled away from up above. See? This is the product of rust jacking and ice jacking, okay? It's a piece of rust that basically snapped this piece of brick, snapped the sill. So here's another one, another crack coming down here feeding water. So what's feeding water to all these sills is the fire escape. So as we go up, I'm going to show you. So 100% of all the treads, ladder doesn't function, chain needs to be replaced, pulleys are not letting the, the not spinning. Look at all the holes. As soon as I go up, I'll be able to put my fingers in a lot of these Connections, look, every single one I'll be able to put my finger inside. There's no cement in there. So all these platforms are li have life safety issues. And there's nothing stopping this from being pulled out and dropping this firescape down to the ground with when it's fully loaded with 5, 10, 20 people, it'll pull right off the building. So a life safety issue. Again, more work done because that crack, look at that crack. So even though they fixed this, they didn't deal with the original cause of the water. The water's not coming from the roof, the water's coming in from water going into these holes and blowing out these sills. Popping these sills up, pushing this sill down, destroying windows. You got rust in every connection, every frame holding the, the platform, as all the other ones. They're all missing their rust, uh, missing their nuts and bolts. You got rust corrosion. These are not spinning anymore. You got rust and corrosion, so a lot of these platforms are not structural for the 100 pounds per square foot. All the treads 100% problems. All the cement into the wall. Look at that. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. 
hole in the wall, hole in the wall, hole in the wall. There's another crack, here's another repair, thousands of dollars to repair this and this is where it originated. So they fixed that, they didn't fix that, that's going to feed this again and you're going to have to fix this in three to five years. And look, <clears throat> as it grew below, it snapped up above, see? So all these sills, that pressure upward, basically this misaligns this window, this window won't open up anymore after so many years. And then if the rust above from that crack gets into the sill, so you have damaged windows and these windows have to be replaced at great expense. Full 100% refurbishment, 100% tightening back into the building, even the ladder to the roof, the original hardware. 100% refurbishment in lieu of a load test. This is Firescape number four, Firescape Engineers, 866-649-0333.